Hi, welcome to the new part of this series. In this part, we will be learning what are set operations, where and why should we use set operations, what methods are available in this category of set operations, and what may be the examples of set operations. So before learning of anything, you should know why and where can you use that thing. So for that part, we will be learning about the examples. So first, let's understand what are the set operations. So set operations are used for those query operations that produce result set. So basically, in this case, we will get a result set based on presence and absence of elements within same or separate data source. So the scenario is that in this type of operations, you may have only one data source or you may have multiple data sources and in the output some of the records may be available or not some of them may be presents or some of them may be absence so if you are not clear with the theory part we will cover everything in the practical one so you will learn everything from the practical scenario now let's understand what are the set operations examples suppose i have a scenario that i have a data source and from that data source i need to fetch only distinct values so Suppose I have a list of employees and all the employees have their own salary. I need to fetch only distinct salary from that table. The scenario is that there may be duplicate salary for two or more than two employees, but I need to fetch only distinct salary from the list. So in that scenario, set operation is used. Next is select all students from a school except class one students so suppose in this scenario i have two data sources one data source is having all the students of a school and then the second data source is having all the students from class one so i need to fetch all the students from the school except class one so for that scenario also we can use set operations next one is select all the toppers from all the classes so in this scenario we have multiple classes and from those classes we need to fetch all the toppers it means we need to fetch some unique records from all the sources last one is create a single class data source for all sections data source so suppose i have a class and that class have multiple sections and we have multiple data sources for all the sections so suppose for section a i have a data source for section b i have a data source for section c i have another data source and finally after combining them after union all of them i need to create a new data source so this is used for that purpose distinct so the first method is distinct distinct method is used to remove duplicate values from the data source if you need to fetch all the unique values all the distinct record then you can use distinct operator except return all the elements from one data source that do not exist in the second data source so in this scenario you will have two data sources and you need to fetch all the records which does not exist in the second data source so we will be using except for that third one is intersect return all the elements which exist in both the data sources it means you have two data sources and from both data sources we need to fetch only the common things it means which are available in both the data sources the last one is the union so return all the elements that appear in either of two databases so basically it combine the it combine all of the data sources and produce create a single data source in the next videos you will be learning all the methods one by one in the detail so let's continue with the new part thank you for watching have a great day don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button of the video thank you